Welcome to my Craft the World tutorial on sheep farming and harvesting. Now, uh, when I started playing this game, uh, I just kept on killing the sheep and I remember when I was able to build uh, something called scissors and I didn't like looking at the des description. Okay, scissors are needed to cut sheep wool. So I made some scissors and I was thinking, okay, do I equip them? Do I use them as a spell? What do I do with them? And I wasn't able to figure out how to use scissors, nor was I able to figure out like how to trap uh, sheep and keep them in a farm. So that's what we're going to solve in this tutorial. And I'm going to show you the whole process from start to finish on how you can build yourself a, a sheep farm and harvest wool from them and keep them growing. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, set up a farm. And I'm going to have to find an area to do that or actually I could of course even create an area down here in the ground. But I do like the outer doors so maybe I will make the, sh the sheep farm here and I'll just teleport over here whenever I need it. So uh, let's make a teleport and just uh, cut down some of those trees and get this all cleared out to start our sheep farm. And there's some sheep here already waiting so that is going to be convenient and they're all plump and ready and wait waiting to be sheared as well. So we're going to have to build something called farm fences. Yes. And I don't have any of those, so let's make some. And let's make some farm fences. So to create a farm, you're going to have to have five fences. And you can build as many farms as you like, uh, but they need to be spaced. Uh, there needs to be one empty uh, tile between them. So you're going to soon see what I mean. So let's build some fences. We have one, and let's just start building it, and the second one has arrived. Okay, so now we have four fences, and when I put down this fifth one, you're going to see the little, f the little farm pop up. And there we go. So, the next thing we're going to need, if we want to get these, uh, these sheep sheared, is we're going to need some scissors. So, you should, um, if you're planning on really starting up, up a big like sheep farm, you're going to want more than just one scissors. Because uh, one scissors means that one dwarf can shear the sheep, uh, and all the other dwarves are sort of waiting around for n and have nothing to do. So the optimal is actually to have as many scissors as you have uh, dwarves and then you're going to really be able to shear those sheep like at a very fast pace. So I have 10 dwarves so I'm going to want 10 of these scissors but let's see how many I can actually make right now. I probably don't have enough iron. I don't have enough iron to make that many but let's make as many as I can. Nine. Okay that's enough, certainly enough for now. Okay. So now we have already seven uh, shearing scissors. Now, uh, so the shearing scissors, they don't need to be equipped. They don't need to be put into the uh, shortcuts panel or, or anything like that. They simply need to exist. So as long as you have them in your inventory, and I don't think they, yeah, they don't even actually show in this inventory they only show in your crafting inventory so that might be a bit confusing for some people but as long as they exist here and you have some they should work so you might be wondering then okay so how do I shear these sheep I have my farm set up I have these plump sheep ready to be sheared uh, do I just click a sheep but as you can see I got this uh, th they start to attack the sheep so to be able to shear them you actually have to catch the sheep and put them inside the farm. 
So, we are going to have to catch them somehow, which means we need a trap. Now, in your inventory you're going to have several different tra types of traps and cages, but the correct one to use is this one. So, I've already built three traps, and I'm just going to drag them down here into my panel. And let's set up some traps and try and catch these little sheep guys. Okay, and this guy... They should catch them any moment. Okay, we got one, the little hatch went down. So this guy can be... Ca we can either kill him, catch him, use him... I'm not sure what that does. Does it take the... Maybe it takes the wool off, I'm not sure. But we want to catch him because we want to put him in the farm. And he will start to... Uh, uh, they will start to multiply. So now he's carrying... You see he has this big sack. He has a sheep inside the sack and now he's going to let the little sheep go. And there we have the sheep behind the fence. So, this sheep uh, is not inside the fence. If it walks in front of the fence, it cannot be sheared. So, that's a, a good indicator to know whether a sheep, like if you, if you have a farm and you can see a whole bunch of sheep there, but you're not able to shear it, make sure that the, the sheep is actually behind the fence. So see how this guy is walking in front, but this guy is behind the sheep the fence. That means I've caught him into the fence, but this one is still a wild sheep. So, he's going to have to be caught. Now let's uh, put these guys also. You can see the little lasso. Oops. Oh, oh no. I didn't want to do that one. So now we know what use does. It simply opens the hatch and lets them go. So that was kind of silly. Okay, so now I have two sheep here uh, in the fence, and I'm just going to leave those those uh, traps to be uh, to catch the rest of the sheep as they walk by. So while we're waiting for that to happen, let's go ahead and now when I click a sheep, you can see you can cut it. And we're going to use, you s now you see the little scissor uh, icon coming here. And since I have more than one scissors, I can ask a second dwarf to start cutting the wool off this one. So this is the reason you want more than one set of scissors. Because imagine if you had a gigantic uh, sheep farm and you had like dozens and dozens of sheep, it would take like years for you, you to have just one dwarf going from one sheep to the next. And now you can see uh, a good comparison. So you see how these sheep have been sheared? They're all like naked and dark colored. Poor little guys, they almost look like goats actually. But this sheep behind is the first is the one that I just caught. So we're gonna shear him. And we will see him turn naked as well. So the the sheep have several uh, stages of growing wool. Um, but it's gonna be pretty visible like uh, what is the correct stage. When they're nice and plump and fluffy, you know they're ready to be sheared. Now, uh, to fast forward to a situation where you have a gigantic farm, uh, let's mosey on over to my other game, and you will see uh, you will see a huge farm of these caterpillars. So, in the different lands, you start out in the first land that you start out with. Uh, they are little sheep, traditional sheep, but in each new land, uh, the, I think in the sand level it was llamas, and here in this sort of spacey underground level, there are these ca fluffy caterpillars. So I've got this gigantic uh, uh, she so-called sheep farm going on here, and let's get our dwarves to go on, uh, sh on a wool shearing frenzy. So. This is what it looks like when you have lots and lots of scissors to use and you've got many um, dwarves doing the work at the same time. 
so much handier this way. Here we can see these little caterpillars again have gotten naked. Uh, it's such a cute game. I really, uh, I really appreciate the graphic style in this game. It's and it's so solid and such a such a joy to play this game. I love all the little love, the loving that has gone into all the little details, and you can tell that the artists or artists have uh, really put a lot of effort and love into this game. Really nicely done. Really well worth the uh, 20 euros that it cost to buy this. But yeah, there you go. Uh, that is how you make a sheep farm. And if you have any questions, uh, if something was unclear, please let me know in the comments and I will then uh, try and fix the video by adding annotations if there's something that was explained in an unclear way uh, and I'll answer your comments. Uh, I hope it was helpful as I was not able to really find very much help for this topic when I was first starting out so I hope this helped and uh, enjoy the game and enjoy your, your upcoming gigantic sheep farm.